Valley. Really interesting to hear about Mahinda's War. Um, so lots of themes in there and one of the ones that I was thinking about is when something happens unexpectedly um, and comes out of the blue and that's kind of what's happened to us this year when we've had the um, coronavirus and the pandemic. It's um, came to everybody and we didn't really know what was going to happen um, but we've all found ways of coping with the things that we had to do and that the changes that we've had to make and I thought a nice thing for us to do on today's activity is to think about how we have coped with it, what sort of things we've done that have um, helped us and that have helped support each other. So we're going to have a go at doing a poem. Now, some of you will have had a go at doing these kind of poems before. It's called an acrostic poem. So what we're going to do is we choose a word um, and we're going to use that to write down the side and the words go off from that. So I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Um, just to help us though, I've written a few words on the board already about what we could use as our key word. So during this time, I think we've all had to try and stay positive and um, we've been thinking about um, hope things that we would still like to do in the future. So um, we've not given up on making plans, but we've had to maybe delay them a little bit. Um, friendship has been really important, having your friends support you. Um, I've put down rainbow just because that's been a bit of a symbol for um, hope and as a thank you for key workers. So I think this is something that some of you might have done is to put a rainbow in your window. And um, that has become a bit of a symbol for this time to um, help show that we're thinking of other people. I've also got community. So it might be that um, people have helped each other, maybe next door neighbors um, have been checking on each other. And then something that we need and that you guys will always use in school um, as well is our resilience so we um, can use our strength and our grit and really help us to get through these difficult times so we've got a lot of positive words on there and I'll show you what I mean about putting them down the side now so I've gone for the word hope and as I said you write the letters going down this way so it's a vertical and I've got the H O P and the E so I need to then think of a word for the start of each of these lines. So for instance, on my first line, I need a word that's going to start with H. So I'm going to have, um, could have having, could have helping. I think I'm going to go for helping. So I'm going to go um, helping each other, because that's what we've had to do. We've had to help each other and I'm going to put to stay positive because some days we might feel more positive um, and we might need to then share that with somebody else to help them um, and other days we might be the one that needs that listening ear from somebody else um, and actually thinking about that, listening to each other and um, helping people to um, make sure that they don't feel lonely. So I'm going to use that for my next one. I'm going to put offering. So I've used the O and used that in my first word. So offering to listen to others. And then I've got P. So for P, I think um, some of you might have done this. We still really want to play with our friends, but we've had to change the way that we do it. We can't just play face to face. So I'm going to change this one. I'm going to start off with playing. Playing with my friends. I've got to be careful how I spell that one. Friends, friends. Playing with my friends over zoom so this time last year i don't think i'd ever been on zoom or teams or anything like that and we've all become really good at doing things in different ways so rather than face to face now i've got one left i've got e and i think this one i'm going to start with enjoying because through this time we've had to really think about what is important and what's helped us to um, stay happy and safe and I'm going to put enjoying small 
pleasures like my daily exercise because that became really important to me. Um, I really look forward to having that little bit of time outside um, when we're allowed to. So you are going to have a go at doing your own poem now. Now I chose Hope because that's a nice short one to show to you guys. Um, but you can choose um, any of the other words that were on the sheet that I had before. So you could go back to the video and pause it on there if you wanted to use one of those. Or of course you can uh, use one of your own uh, words. So whatever you can think of. Okay. And just have a real think about how this time has affected you and how you'd like to respond to it. There's no right or wrong way of um, writing a poem. It's brilliant because you can express yourself however you want and um, just be as creative as you like. And this will be a nice thing for you to then be able to look back on when you're older and remember this time and how amazing everybody has been at coping and getting through it. So well done. Okay, see you soon. Bye.